The world of photography and videography is abuzz with excitement as rumors swirl about Sony's latest mirrorless camera offering. While details are still emerging, one thing is clear, the so-called Sony A6900 is shaping up to be a game-changer for creators everywhere. Let's dive into the latest whispers from the rumor mill and explore what could be in store with this hotly anticipated new shooter. For several weeks now, the rumor mill over at Sony Alpha Rumors has been churning with leaked details about an alleged successor to Sony's A6600 mirrorless camera. This purported new model is tentatively being referred to as the Sony A6900, though it should be noted that the A6900 moniker has yet to receive official confirmation from Sony itself. However, a source considered trusted by the Sony Alpha Rumors crew has firmly stated that this upcoming camera will not be named A6700. Meanwhile, another Sony Alpha Rumors source has floated the A6900 label as a potential name for the new shooter. Sony Alpha Rumors confidently asserts that the A6900 will serve as the replacement for the current A6600, packing an APS-C sensor into a body styled similarly to Sony's full-frame A7C model. Positioning it as a dedicated vlogger camera, the rumors point to several vlogger-friendly specs, including a fully articulating screen, impressive video capabilities, at minimum 4K 30p plus MIC the headphone jacks, and a compact, portable design ideal for run-and-gun filming. Perhaps the most intriguing rumor surrounds the A6900's purported video specs, with various sources suggesting it will offer 4K the 60p recording, a notable jump from the 4K or 30p of its A6600 predecessor. This would bring the A6900 in line with Sony's full-frame alpha lineup in terms of video capabilities, potentially making it an extremely attractive option for hybrid shooters looking for a capable video camera in a compact form factor. Taking a look at other mirrorless cameras in this category, the Fujifilm X-T5 offers 6.2K 30p video but maxes out at 4K 60p, while the Nikon Z62 and Canon EOS R6 Mark II both top out at 4K 60p as well. Additionally, there are whispers of a brand new high-resolution 32MP sensor making its way into the A6900, a surprising deviation from Sony's typical 24MP resolution for its APS-C lineup. If true, this would give the A6900 a significant resolution advantage over its predecessor, as well as many of its APS-C competitors from other manufacturers like the 20MP Fuji X-T5 and 24MP Nikon Z50. A higher megapixel count could be a boom not just for still photography, but also for enhanced crop abilities and oversampled video quality. Other potential specs buried in the Sony Alpha Rumors rumor mill, though from unconfirmed sources, include improved rolling shutter performance, a blistering 20 frames per second continuous shooting rate, a 2.36M dot EVF, a tilting screen akin to the A7C, enhanced in-body image stabilization over the A7C, and pricing around $1,798, putting it in the same ballpark as the A7C. The rumored 20 frames per second burst rate in particular has raised some eyebrows, as it seems like an outlier spec for a supposedly vlogging-focused camera. That kind of speed is typically reserved for Sony's highest-end sports action full-frame models like the A1 and A9 series. In fact, taking a look at some key competitors, the Fuji X-T5 tops out at 20 frames per second with its mechanical shutter and 30 frames per second with its electronic shutter. Meanwhile, the Nikon Z50 and Canon EOS R62 offer relatively pedestrian burst rates of 11 frames per second and 12 frames per second respectively. So if the 20 frames per second rumor proves true, it could potentially make the A6900 an incredibly versatile hybrid camera, able to pull double duty as a potent still shooter for action sports alongside its purported video duties. As for the EVF and screen, having a high-resolution 2.36M dot viewfinder and a fully articulating display would make the A6900 ideal for vloggers and run-and-gun filmmakers who need to be able to easily monitor their framing from any angle. The Fuji X-T5 features a slightly higher 3.69M dot EVF but matches the rumored A6900's fully articulating LCD screen. The Nikon Z50 has a tilting display but a lower resolution 2.36M dot EVF, 
While the Canon EOS R6 Mark II makes do with a relatively basic 3.69M EVF and non-articulating rear screen. Improved in-body image stabilization over the full-frame A7C could also give the A6900 a substantial advantage in terms of smoothing out handheld video footage and low-light stills work. The A7CS IBIS system is already highly capable, providing around 5 stops of stabilization according to reports. So if the A6900 can improve on that system, even marginally, it could prove extremely helpful for vloggers, filmmakers, and photographers shooting in challenging lighting scenarios. Most of the other rumored specs like the tilting screen and $1800 price point seem relatively standard and in line with what we'd expect from Sony's APS-C flagship offering. The Fuji X-T5 carries a $1,700 body-only price tag, while the Nikon Z50 is more affordable at $1,000. If the A6900's pricing speculation proves accurate around $1,800, it could prove to be an extremely compelling value proposition when considering the potentially class-leading video features and compact form factor compared to Sony's full-frame lineup. Of course, you can expect the A6900 to pack all of Sony's standard world-class autofocusing tech as well, including its renowned real-time IAF capabilities, powerful subject tracking utilizing AI-based object recognition, and generally rapid focusing performance, checking all the requisite boxes for still shooters and vloggers alike. Sony's AF prowess has been a key advantage for its mirrorless cameras, so it's a virtual certainty the A6900 will continue that tradition. As for when we might actually see the Sony A6900 hit store shelves, the rumor mill has been relatively quiet on specifics. However, if we look at Sony's previous APS-C flagship release cycle, we can attempt to narrow down a potential time frame. The A6600 was originally announced way back in August 2019, meaning we're already approaching the five-year mark since that camera's debut as of mid-2024. Historically, Sony has taken a rather leisurely pace when it comes to updating their top-tier APS-C bodies, often waiting three to four years between new models. There are whispers that the A6900 could potentially be officially announced before the end of June 2024, which would line up with the typical for-year product cycle we've seen from Sony's APS-C releases. An end-of-June unveiling would likely translate to the camera arriving on store shelves sometime in July or August. Regardless of the exact release date, one thing is for certain, whenever the A6900 does arrive, it will almost assuredly be the new APS-C flagship that Sony APS-C shooters will be working with for the next several years. Sony has shown no signs of accelerating their APS-C refresh rates, so even if they maintain their recent for-year cadence, we likely won't see a successor to the A6900 until 2027 or potentially even later. So for anyone considering jumping into Sony's APS-C ecosystem, or existing owners looking to upgrade, the A6900 shapes up to be a relatively future-proof investment that should remain at the top of its class for the foreseeable future. Without a doubt, the Sony A6900 is primed to be an absolute game-changer in the world of photography and videography. Brimming with groundbreaking, innovative features and backed by truly unparalleled performance capabilities. This new camera empowers creative visionaries to utterly transcend the boundaries of their art and capture moments of unparalleled beauty. Whether you're a seasoned professional photographer or filmmaker or an ambitious up-and-coming artist, the Sony A6900 gives you all the tools you need to elevate your craft to dazzling new heights. Its cutting-edge tech and exceptionally user-friendly design make it an instrument perfectly tuned to unlock your full creative potential. So stay tuned right here for loads more in-depth coverage diving deep into the full capabilities of the remarkable Sony A6900 and exploring how this powerhouse shooter can take your photography and videography skills into a whole new stratosphere of artistry. The world of visual creativity is about to be redefined, 